Good morning, uh, YouTubers and big shavers. Uh, Paul here from uh, Arizona. It is uh, Independence Day here in the United States, and today I'm going to be doing uh, uh, my Independence Day uh, red, white, and blue shave. So, um, for my products today, um, I'm going to be using the mainly all uh, products made in the U.S. of A. And uh, to start out with, I'm going to be using the uh, Art of Shaving uh, uh, Ocean Kelp uh, Pre-Shave Gel. Um, and uh, um, there it is. For it. Uh, I know a lot of guys have been lamenting the loss of the uh, uh, Floyd Sandalore uh, Pre-Shave Gel. Um, since it's uh, not being made anymore. Um, but I found that this... Uh, Ocean kelp gel is a pretty close, uh, pretty uh, close in the function uh, uh, to the uh, sandalore gel. Um, it's a little bit thicker than the sandalore gel. Um, it has a light citrus scent, but uh, it uh, it pretty much does the same thing. Um, and uh, um, it's a, a reasonable replacement. Not not as good as the sandalore, but a, a decent uh, alternative. Um, for my uh, razor, I'm going to be using the Gillette Red Tip. Uh, so, uh, and I have loaded in there a uh, Persona a Platinum, a Persona Red Blade. Uh, this is the only thing I think in this uh, um, uh, batch of stuff that's not made in the United States. Um, and uh, for my brush, I'm going to be using a. Um, this is a brush. Uh, uh, made uh, by uh, Tony at Pancetta in Scottsdale, Arizona. Um, this has the uh, uh, TGN uh, two-band uh, uh, knot in there. Um, uh, if any of you don't know, uh, Pancetta is the brick-and-mortar store uh, of uh, the people uh, that own uh, the Golden Nib, which I'm sure uh, many uh, in the wet shaving community are familiar with. And this is one of their knots, and this is a handle made by Tony, who owns uh, the Golden Nib. So, um, and this is sort of their homage to the Simpson Chubby. And this is a, a 26 millimeter knot, uh, as opposed to the, the actual Chubby, which is a 28 millimeter knot. There's the Chubby. There's this one. It's a little bit smaller knot. Um, and, uh, and although this brush is wet, I can tell you this, this uh, knot is not as dense as this, and uh, it fans out a bit more. Um, so the face coverage actually is pretty similar. Uh, this brush is pretty densely packed and it, and it doesn't really fan out that much. Um, but it's a it's a real good brush. Works good. It's not as much of a lather hog as the uh, uh, Chubby 2. It does seem to release the lather a little bit better. And uh, uh, all in all a great brush. Um, I'm also going to be using a soap made in the uh, United States. Uh, since it's hot as uh, Dickens here in Arizona, I'm going to be using the Queen Charlotte uh, Vostok. Uh, this is their uh, menthol uh, soap, and I've been soaking it in water, and I've uh, dumped the water out, and there you go. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just uh, uh, start uh, uh, lathering the soap here. Uh, I hope all of you are having a good uh, day, uh, and have a nice holiday uh, here in the United States. Um, so I know most, uh, most people have the day off, since it is a national holiday here in the United States. Um, for those of you that don't, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, I still hope you have a great day uh, nonetheless. Uh, so um, I've just basically been soaking my brush, shook it out a little bit, and I'm just uh, doing what I normally do, which is just uh, um, build the lather on the puck. Um, and once I kind of get a nice lather going there on the puck, such as that, kind of thickens up, I'll go ahead and, and uh, uh, go ahead and uh, these flathers the rest of the way. So I've always been uh, really uh, happy with the Queen Charlotte uh, soaps. They seem to lather really well um, for me. Uh, I've had the uh, vetiver, um, the Bostock, and uh, I have also have uh, currently the Celestial Wood. Um, and all of them seem to perform quite well. Um, they form a nice, uh, rich lather. Um, they're easy to lather. Um, and uh, they're really a pretty good, 
pretty pretty nice product. This was actually, pro I think uh, Queen Charlotte was probably the first of the uh, artisan soaps that I actually ever tried. Um, and uh, I, the first one I got was the Queen Charlotte uh, Vostok Cream. And uh, although it's, it is uh, 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 said to be a cream, it's more like a soft soap uh, than an actual true uh, cream. So, okay. But uh, um, the Vostok is a very uh, highly mentholated soap. It feels great on the face. I think for guys that uh, like menthol, uh, um, this is uh, probably a good choice for them. I think you you would really enjoy this uh, particular soap um, or the cream. Um, after I used up the cream, I went with this, which is a soap, which to me, they, they, they basically perform about the same. Okay, let me go get a nice little cover in there. And I'm just going to put the brush back in this brush kettle there. I'm just going to warm my razor up and we'll go ahead and get started. So the uh, Persona Blade uh, is, uh, is, is one of my favorites. Um, I do like the Platinum. Uh, the Med Prep is probably... my favorite of the Persona Blades, but uh, this one is still pretty doggone good. And uh, works great in the red tip, which uh, uh, as, uh, as many of you guys know is, is my, uh, one of my favorite, uh, or probably is uh, my favorite uh, vintage Gillette razor. And uh, you could really feel the menthol kicking in uh, uh, after that uh, first pass. Um, really starts to freeze the face nicely. the green here. The thing that I like about the red tip is that it does seem like it's slightly more aggressive, although it's not terribly aggressive. Uh, it really uh, seems to be very, very efficient. And the, uh, the other thing I like about the razor is I do enjoy the little, uh, the, the heavier handle. Uh, um, the handle just seems to be a bit heavier than some of the other uh, in that super speed lineup. So I'm just gonna put a little more water on my face here. Okay, I'm going to cross the grain in the opposite direction.
And we'll go ahead and do our against the grain pass here. I really do love the smell and the feel of the soap on my face. Um, this really works great uh, when it's uh, really hot outside and really gives a nice cooling effect on the skin, which is really, uh, I think, quite enjoyable. So um, certainly if uh, any of you guys are not uh, fans of menthol, this would be a soap that you would want to steer clear of. But if you are a big menthol fan, then uh, uh, this is definitely uh, one that uh, should be tried. So, okay. I always have a couple little trouble spots right here, right here, right here, right here, so I'll just kind of buff those a little bit, but but really uh, pretty pretty smooth shave uh, without uh, much effort and without much uh, touch-ups needed there with that uh, uh, brand new uh, Persona blade and the uh, the red tip. So I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse off my face and I'll apply my aftershave. So today, uh, sticking with the uh, All-American theme, uh, I'm going to go uh, be using an all, uh, 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 American aftershave. Uh, nothing fancy, but uh, uh, American aftershave in the red, white, and blue theme. So this is the Aqua Velva Ice Blue, um, and uh, smells great. Um, I know a lot of people always ask about the Floyd Blue. Um, what's it smell like? Uh, this smells pretty close to the Floyd Blue. They're pretty similar uh, in scent and they're pretty similar in the way they feel on your face. Um, they both have a, a nice little menthol kick uh, and uh, um, really quite a nice aftershave. So um, this of course is easily uh, readily accessible in the United States at any supermarket or uh, Walgreen uh, or Walmart I should say. Um, and uh, whereas the Floyd Blue is a, a little bit harder to get. Um, and I'm going to top that off with my homemade aftershave balm. Uh, again, made in the USA by myself. Um, this is an aftershave balm that it, uh, is a combination of um, glycerin, a little bit of glycerin, witch hazel, and aloe vera gel. It has some essential oils. I've chosen to put a little patchouli, eucalyptus, and tea tree oil in here. And I've also put um, some... Uh, uh, dissolved menthol crystals in here as well so and uh, I just put in this little spray bottle just spray a little bit on my hand smells great and just apply it to my face just to finish off a uh, red white and blue Independence Day set, uh, shave and uh, I hope all you guys have a great day, whether you have the day off or not, um, um, and I hope you enjoyed that shave. Have a good one, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.